Hey guys, it's Harlof, good to see you. So I'm just getting my head around this whole Sony Alpha 1 announcement. For me, it looks like Sony's answer to the Canon R5. It took a few months, but dear God, it looks like a belter. Let's go through the video specs now. So the Alpha 1 has a brand new stacked 50.1 megapixel sensor and a vastly upgraded processor. They're saying up to eight times more powerful. I'm sure you've all seen the headline of the video features and that's that it shoots in 8K at 30 frames per second in 10-bit 420, not 422. This 8K is actually from an 8.6K oversample, so the detail that you should get in the footage, it should be phenomenal. So far there's been no mention of any kind of crop factor in any filming mode, but I am confident that Sony know not to mess with any kind of heavy crop modes in 2021. Just don't mess with it. It will also shoot in 4K 120 frames per second slow motion at 422 10-bit, just as the A7S III does, which I'm shooting on right now, and that is just beautiful looking slow motion. Some really good news is Sony have included the S Cinetone color science, just like you'll get in the FX6 and FX9, which is amazing, but to be honest, I would have been really quite disappointed and surprised if they hadn't, considering the huge price tag of six and a half thousand dollars. Sony say the Alpha One has a unique heat dissipating structure and that will allow you to shoot 8K at 30 frames per second for 30 minutes. And I just can't wait to see those overheating tests that people do. I'm sure there'll be some next to the Canon R5 and pit them against each other. Can't wait to see that. I wonder if it'll, be, uh, if it'll be any good in that regard. This camera also outputs at 16-bit RAW from the HDMI, which is just incredible. The, imagine the file sizes. And it also has a really nice Super 35 mode, which shoots 4K from an oversampled 5.8K. As I mentioned, it is $6,500 at release, so I imagine for video guys, it's going to be a real toss-up deciding between the FX6 and the Alpha 1. On paper, the Alpha 1 looks like the superior camera, but of course, you're missing out on the form factor of the FX6, the SDI outputs, the HDMI inputs, plus that incredible variable ND that's built in. For me, this looks to be the ultimate no compromises hybrid camera, which I think comfortably sits beside the Canon R5 at the top of the pile. I would say one big oversight is they didn't include that fully articulating screen. It's a matter of preference, of course, but personally, I love them. And the release of this camera has also got me wondering what Canon could possibly include in their rumored R1. Thoughts below, please. So what do you think? Does the Sony Alpha 1 leapfrog the Canon R5? Bearing in mind that now that the R5 has been out for a little while, there is a significant price difference. Also, do you think the Alpha 1 will have overheating problems? And what about the FX6? Does it make the FX6 a bit redundant? For the record, I don't think this makes the FX6 redundant. Lastly, will you be buying it? Personally, for me, I don't think this is a camera that suits me. I feel like I'd be paying for a lot of photography tech that I just wouldn't use, because I'm, I'm a video guy. However, this really puts into question what the next A7 IV will be like. Will any of this tech trickle down to the lower level alpha cameras? I love talking cameras, so let's talk about it in the comments section below. I'm down there as much as I possibly can be. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. See you guys.